In this video, I want to talk about identifying Lewis acids, Lewis bases, and Lewis salts, also known as Lewis adducts. So the best way to identify a Lewis acid is to first remember its definition. So a Lewis acid is something that is an electron pair acceptor. In other words, it accepts electrons. So two examples of Lewis acids are aluminum trichloride and boron trifluoride. So the best way to see this is to draw out their Lewis dot structures, and you can see I've done that here. And notice that both of the central atoms have incomplete octets. In other words, the central atom has only made three bonds, right? One, two, three, four, five, six total electrons. While normally in the outer valence shell, something can hold eight electrons total. So really what they're going to want to do is accept another electron pair to make another bond to fill their octet and they get those electrons from Lewis bases. So Lewis bases are the opposite. They're electron pair donors. They're who supply the electrons. Two examples of these are chloride ion and ammonia, NH3. So these both have, if you draw their Lewis dot structures, lone pairs of electrons on the central atom that can be donated. So you can see here that drawing the Lewis dot structures for the molecules are very useful in determining the location of unfilled octets and extra lone pairs of electrons on the central atom. And you can see here what happens. When a Lewis base donates its electrons to a Lewis acid, they create a bond and they become an adduct or a Lewis salt. Now this is aluminum tetrachloride. It's got aluminum with four chlorides around it because this chloride donated its electrons to the aluminum trichloride. Similarly down here, this ammonia donated its electron pair to the boron trifluoride. And now we have a resultant Lewis acid, Lewis base pair over here, also known as a Lewis salt or a Lewis adduct. And the interesting thing about this Lewis salt is that although this is a normal bond, just like we're used to seeing in chemistry, this nitrogen donated its electron pair to create this shared electron pair in this bond here, really these electrons are still quote unquote property of the nitrogen. So in other words, if you were to calculate the formal charge around this boron atom, you would not include this bond. So even though we've created a Lewis acid, Lewis base pair here, or a Lewis salt or adduct, you can't actually say that this boron has these electrons in its valence. Nitrogen still owns those electrons, although this bond here does satisfy the requirement for a Lewis salt. So I really hope this helps you guys out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.